Uju, Wago Shindagu, Migazi and Dodem, Gazagasquaji Mekog, and Dun In 2015, I went to the Canadian Museum for Human Rights for the first time. And I've been there a couple of times since because it's really a remarkable place. The museum is small enough where you can get through there easily <clears throat> in half a day or so. And I really found it to be a compelling way to organize a museum and to think about reconciliation. On the first floor, there were kind of little pods or kiosks, uh, which had many, many different stories from Canada's history. And I was surprised that there was a lot there that I didn't know a lot about. The ones on the residential boarding school experience for Indigenous Canadians were ones that I knew quite a bit about, but I had no idea that there was an active persecution of Jehovah's Witnesses in Canada. I didn't realize until I went there that there was an internment of Japanese Canadians in World War II. I thought that was an exclusively American oppression. And as I was going through learning about all of these different things, I also came to the realization that pretty much anyone who went there would find themselves reflected in at least some of those stories. And it got a kind of engagement that is sometimes hard to develop in a lot of modern museums. The second floor was about how humans have scaled up their mistreatment of one another. There was a lot of information about the Holocaust and other brutal oppressions throughout human history. The third floor, however, was really interesting. It was about change makers who were fighting for human rights across time. Big sections on Gandhi, King, and many other movers and shakers who have galvanized public attention and made things happen. And the fourth floor was more interesting yet. It was all about the visitors to the museum. There was a section there that said, is there a story from Canada's history that you do not see reflected in this museum? Sit down right here, type it into this computer, we will research it and it can become part of the public record. Do you want to get involved in being the change yourself? Here are many different organizations, nonprofits that are trying to advocate for human rights and make and build the world into a better place. Sign up right now for information, get involved, and it took you from seeing yourself in history to seeing the scope of history, to seeing people changing history for the better, to realizing we are the change. And I thought it was a really well-designed museum. I'd highly recommend it to anyone. The Canadian Museum for Human Rights. It's located in Winnipeg. Miigwech. Thanks for watching today. I'm Anton Troyer. Let's keep in touch. I'm active on social media and my website has lots of information on my books, speaking engagements, resources for the Ojibwe language, teachers, and more. Miigwech.